My name is Robin Hooper and I am a local scouter serving the West End community as scout leader and the district of Surrey Heath as assistant district commissioner for the scout section. I have not always been a local scout. My scouting time started at the age of eight years old as a cub scout, not that long ago obviously. And this was in the district of Hayes and Harlington. I went through scouting there as a child and then a leader. Back in 2000, I moved to Chobham and commuted back every Tuesday to my troop in Hayes for four years. 2004, I decided to knock that on the head and I moved groups from Hayes to West End. Loved the community of West End so much, we then moved to West End, sorry Chobham, in 2006. <laughs> <laughs> Currently I have been an adult leader within the movement for 17 years. It is my life, well obviously after my family and work, but that's what I tell them. <laughs> so what is scouting? 1907, a gentleman called Robert Baden Powell had an amazing idea that would change the future. Well, it was amazing until he invited the kids. But that's what it is all about, joking aside. It was something pretty impressive that spread throughout the country and then followed on with many countries in the world. Between 1908 and 1975, there was not many years go by without a country or countries starting scouting. Then from 1919 onwards, many more countries have joined the worldwide family of scouting. So the scouts in West End, the 1520 scouts, also in Bisley and Chobham, that turn up on their evening, so West End is Friday, are actually part of their bigger family, which includes countries far and wide, including the USA, Australia, Ethiopia, Poland, Sri Lanka, Saudi Arabia, El Salvador, St. Lucia, Libya, Romania, Malta, Ireland, Lebanon, Peru, Denmark, Sweden, Finland, and the list goes on. The youth of our community. When a child is around three to four years old, their parents put their names on the waiting list for the local Beaver Scout colony. Their sixth birthday arrives and they turn up at Beavers. After a few weeks they have their smart uniform ready to be invested. Parents arrive with all the latest digital recording device, these days with the mobile phone, and film will take pictures of their child being invested. The child has a grin from ear to ear. They turn eight and join the scout section. A new uniform, and here we go again, getting invested is exciting. Parents arrive again now, with probably the iPhone 6 by then, ready to record their child, who again is grinning from ear to ear. Over the next two and a half years, they experience all sorts of activities, offered weekly at the PAC meetings and yearly by the district and camps they attend. Ten and a half comes and they are ready to join the scout section. Yes, again, another smart uniform. However, mum is no longer dressing them, so they fail to tuck the shirt in. But we <laughs> overcome that very quickly at inspection. The day has arrived for the investiture, and the parents arrive, probably still with their iPhone 6, because the contracts are so long now. <laughs> their child is standing there, grinning, but now thinking you had better not post that picture on Facebook. They attend scouting until they are 14 years of age. And this is the section where unfortunately we do lose some of the young people. This is due to school change, homework, peer pressure and other activities available to them. For the three and a half years they are in the scout section, they enjoy all sorts of activities, from weekly meetings to survival camps, summer camps, competition camps and even camps abroad. The scout section, as they have, as in the scout section as they have done in Beavers and Cubs, they work towards many badges to hopefully achieve their Chief Scouts Awards. And the Scouts section, that's called the Gold Award. This award is presented by a member of the district team and the certificate is then awarded by a VIP at a county venue. From the age of 14, they join the Explorer Scout section. The adventure continues and can get bigger. Explorer Scouts from West End and Surrey Heath have been on some amazing journeys from Uganda, Switzerland, Germany, and this year, two explorers from Surrey Heath attended the World Scout Jamboree in Sweden. I was also very lucky to be a part of the World Scout Jamboree this year. I was one of nine leaders from Surrey to attend and take 81 Explorer Scouts with us from Surrey. We visited three countries. Denmark was where all 3,500 explorers and leaders 
from the UK met for two days of activities. We then journeyed into Sweden and camped for 12 nights with 39,000 scouts and leaders from around the world. We did activities to together, tasted each other's food and learnt their cultures. Finally, we went on to Ho Ho, which is home hospitality. At this point, Surrey split um, into two. Some went to Sweden and the unit I was with went to Finland. There we were hosted by a fantastic scouting family. Young people will remember this for the rest of their lives. If I bring it back to our villages, we also take part in various communities activities to look after our area or help fundraise by running stalls at the fete. In fact, Bob a Job uh, returns next year rebranded as Scout Community Week. That's uh, just been announced in the last month. What does scouting do for our young people and our future? Well, it gives them confidence, skills from not tying to cooking and survival. Everybody that was a scout will find that elements of these skills will be used many times throughout their lives. In fact, I know a scout from quite a while ago now who was so shy that he did not like reading out aloud, talking to a group, presenting something he had created or written. But scouting gave him the confidence. He also became a leader which helped him as well. And that's the reason why I'm quite happy to stand here and tell you about scouting. Thank you. Without we have tonight ten reasons who started not only Cobham, West End and Bisley Scouting. And he must have a tremendous tremendous cheer. Good old Ken. All right, Ken.